line right now, 35th District Representative Drew McEwen. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, Good morning, Drew. Jeff. How morning. are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. We're uh, we're 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 on third base here and uh, looking uh, looking to make those final 90 feet. And they're call- and they're <laughs> nice. giving you the signs to come on in. Yes, yes. So uh, there's an outside chance we could uh, wrap it all up today. I don't think so, just based on how much we still got to do. But uh, um, we'll, I, I'm I'm pretty sure we'll be done uh, tomorrow on time. One of the things I wanted to ask you about was uh, the news that uh, Representative Christensen is uh, going to uh, not run for re-election here out of Snohomish. Representative Dan Christensen in the 39th. He's been in the, in the House since '02, and uh, he's the minority leader. So uh, what does that mean uh, for the minority party? Yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, Dan's, uh, Dan's had a long and uh, distinguished career here, and uh, we've got a number of senior members that are actually uh, um, uh, calling, it, uh, calling it a day, so to speak. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, Dan's departure, um, I, I think just for him personally, the time, uh, it was a time to, uh, to do so for a number of personal reasons, and, uh, and certainly respect that. And I've got a lot of respect for Dan and uh, appreciate all he's done. He's, uh, he's given his all uh, for, this, uh, for this caucus, for this institution, and for our state. And, I uh, can't thank him enough for that. And you know, as a caucus, we'll be fine. We'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll we're going to select a new leader here before we leave town. Uh, it's important to do that. It's uh, it's an election year. We need to have uh, have uh, you know some consistency. And so there'll be a, a smoothless, uh, smooth transition, seamless transition here over the next couple of days. And uh, and we'll go forward. So we're going to address that after we uh, after we do adjourn. And uh, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not worried about that end of it. Um, I, I'm going to miss Dan. I've uh, I've enjoyed his mentorship and working with him. And uh, it's um, you know a lot of uh, a lot of knowledge that we're going to lose, but we'll uh, we'll be okay. Um, any thoughts or and ideas of who may be nominated to be the new minority leader? Yep, but I'm not going to make that public oh. right now. <laughs> yeah, I think we know what we're going to do, uh, but I'm going to um, we'll, we're going to we'll, we'll deal with that internally, and then once that's uh, decided, we'll uh, we'll make that public. Yesterday, uh, Washington Commissioner of Public Lands Hillary Franz brought out two wildfire uh, firefighters who are Dreamers DACA recipients and kind of put them in front of the cameras to talk about uh, their work for the state in the firefighting season. What do you think about uh, putting uh, those guys out there and, and this ongoing conversation? Yeah, so on that specific uh, note, I, I wasn't aware of that. So that's, uh, that's uh, you're, you're sharing that with me. It's the first time that I've, I've heard, of, uh, heard of that situation. And uh, um, you know, th- this is a situation that really has got to get handled at the federal level, and they need to uh, they need to address it. They need to have it done. Um, you know, and I'll say this: uh, when when DACA was uh, created under uh, President Obama, there was a window there that people to uh, to sign to sign up that uh, that fell under that undocumented registration status, and uh, uh, and and you know, with the the intent was that there, that we would find we as a federal government would find a uh, would find a path forward to uh, to address that. Uh, so people that have signed into that program, I do have a lot of empathy for, and I think we need to, uh, uh, we as a nation, need to address that and uh, and get the, the those situations resolved. People that chose not to uh, register under that, that's a whole different uh, set of circumstances. But uh, I certainly hope that the federal government, sooner rather than later, will address this. We need to move forward as a nation. We are a nation of immigrants, and uh, but we're also a nation of laws, and we need to... Uh, um, uh, we need we need to uh, do this in a, uh, in a in a in an honorable fashion. Um, you know, I, I people that were brought here as children, um, you know, obviously had no choice in the matter. Um, you know, that I I completely uh, understand that. Um, you know, the situation that that puts them in as they've grown up now. Um, but again, I I, I urge uh, the federal government to let's just let's get this done and let's uh, let's let's just deal with it. Man, kicking the can down the road every uh, couple of months, every couple of years is not going to do it. Talk to me a little bit. Your thoughts on the uh, controversial law on overhauling uh, the police shootings and uh, prosecuting police who commit wrongful shootings? It looks like there is some work being done to pass the um, the bill as is and then amending it afterwards, and perhaps the attorney general's office maybe thinks that that's not allowed, and if not, it may go to the voters. Where are you at with this? Yeah, we, we, we came close last night to, uh, to doing a vote on this in the House, and it ended up not happening. Uh, you know, I, I, I have a lot of grave concerns about that initiative, quite frankly. We're going we're gonna to create a situation where uh, uh, police aren't going to be able to be police, frankly, in my opinion. 
those that are there, are there bad actors? Yes, there are. There are in any industry. Um, and uh, but I, I, I personally feel that uh, when there have been uh, situations where people have acted outside of the the law, that those situations have been addressed. And to uh, to now water down the ability of law enforcement to be law enforcement, I think is uh, is, a, is a horrible scenario that uh, will not uh, will not serve our state well. So. There, there are a number of conversations happening right now. Um, whether we get this addressed here over the next uh, 36 hours or whatever we got to go um, remains to be seen. Uh, we came close last night, but it didn't happen. Uh, so, yeah, there's a chance this will end up being an initiative. I, I personally do not take the stance that with the, when, when there's the threat of, oh, there'll be an initiative and it'll be horrible unless you guys do something right now. I don't, uh, to me, that is, led, uh, pardon the, uh, the, the, comparison here, but I don't legislate with a gun to my head. I'm not going to pass crap legislation so that I, in the hopes that I don't have a worse initiative. Um, it, it's still bad. So why, you know, sure, I'm going sure. to go out against it and uh, and, uh, and I'll stand on that. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens here. And um, I'm hoping that uh, we can uh, we can get some cooler heads to prevail, for, quite frankly, but we'll see. And, you know, right now, I think the biggest, the, the biggest issue certainly is uh, getting the supplemental budget out. Um, and this has been a frustration. Um, on the Republican side, we've been shut out here for the last few weeks, um, and I have no idea what's uh, what's going on budget-wise. I'm going to get a brief here in uh, 40 minutes on uh, apparently the uh, the House and the Senate uh, Democrats have agreed to uh, a supplemental budget that will uh, will get us out of here. But I have no clue what's in it. Uh, I don't know if there are tax increases. I suspect that there's a raid on the uh, rainy day fund for things that are not uh, uh, do not fall into the uh, the category of needing those funds and. I'm going to find out here in 40 minutes. We'll see what it is, and uh, it's, just, it's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to be asked to, uh, to uh, sell this budget to my caucus here, and um, I'm going to see it. And uh, it, to, quite frankly, to uh, to digest uh, nearly 50 billion dollars in a one-hour briefing, that's a pretty tough sell for me to give to my caucus. Yeah, uh, so, so this it's is going to be an interesting day. This is one of the last uh, things that uh, needs to get done in the last what you mentioned, 36 hours, uh, and. Uh, there's there for the majorities who have majority in both houses and the governor uh, seat. They don't necessarily need any Republican votes. Is that correct, or is the caucus strong to get this through on the Democrat side, or do you think that there will be some peeling away that uh, that they'll have to then come over to you guys and say we need some votes here? Yeah, well, I can I can speak better to the uh, the House side of this, and the Speaker of the House, Frank Chop, he he will not bring a budget to a vote if he doesn't have 50 votes for it. Uh, that's that's been the way he is, mm -hmm. um, and makes total sense. I, I you know if I was an issue, that'd be the same way too. You know, you want to have uh, the full support of your caucus. Do they need Republican votes? Um, they do if they're going to go into the rainy day fund for non-emergency issues, and that requires a two-thirds vote. And in those situations, they would need our votes. And um, I. I, I, I'm speculating here because I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but uh, if there is uh, a, a dip into the uh, the rainy day fund for uh, for non-emergency issues, I, I'm pretty confident to tell you that I don't think there'll be a single Republican vote for it, and that would cause the budget to fail. But um, I suspect, since uh, given the hour, and uh, there there seems to be a uh, com confidence in the air that uh, we're going to be out of here shortly, I suspect that they're not doing that. There could be a tax in here, which they don't need our votes for either. They, that's a simple majority. So we'll find out. Uh, stay tuned. All right, Drew. Well, we'll let you get to it. I know you got to get to that briefing. So uh, thank you so much for calling us in, and we'll get you in for a legislative wrap here after the session uh, wraps up, hopefully by the uh, what end of tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. And uh, go Mariners. Hey, go Mariners. I yeah, like hearing that. Sunshine. <laughs> All right, Drew. Have a good one.